guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about self-care and how art can contribute to your personal well-being. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So lately I've been really stressed. I didn't have much time to do anything for me and my mental health since I was really engaged in studying for my exams, working and adulting. And that's what I've been noticing during the last days since I took a few days off. I really feel mentally exhausted and need a break from like everything. <laughs> to be honest, I even spent a whole day sitting on the couch doing nothing. And for some people this is probably nothing special, but for me it is. Since I'm a workaholic and always busy with university stuff, work stuff or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not the only person struggling with stress from time to time, so that's why I thought I'd share some tips with you on how to de-stress and doing self-care using art. Tip number one, do something creative. This tip is kind of obvious considering the title of the video, but let me tell you why it's a good idea anyway. Recently I read a study in which was shown that after 45 minutes of making art, the cortisol level in your body lowers significantly. Cortisol is a stress-related hormone that can be used to indicate your level of stress, so making art can reduce stress. What they also found out is that for this effect it's not important whether you have experience in art or not, which gender you have or how old you are. Also, it doesn't matter which medium you use for making art. Therefore, just take any medium you have, maybe a ballpoint pen and a scrap piece of paper, and start doodling and drawing, whatever you want. Personally, I always feel better after making art, so you should definitely give it a go. Tip number two, try to paint or draw your emotions. Stress is often a response to underlying negative emotions. Stress could result from anxiety, fear of failure, or maybe anger. In order to feel better, it's important to have a critical look at your feelings and find out where they are coming from, how to process them, and how you can ultimately let go of these negative emotions. In this respect, it's helpful to let it all out. Just like journaling, putting your emotions down on paper or visualizing them in some kind of way can help you to process your emotion. Just try to let your emotions guide you. It doesn't matter if you paint a canvas all black or make random shapes out of clay. Let it all out and let it go. Tip number three, let go of perfectionism. Depending on your personality, you might be more or less of a perfectionist. Therefore, you might be scared to pick up a paintbrush or a pencil because you have a certain image in your head of what you want to put on paper and you are worried that it won't turn out as good as you want it to. But here's the thing, emotions aren't perfect. They are chaotic, sometimes you can't even really tell what emotion you're feeling in that specific moment. And that's fine. Don't expect your artwork to be perfect when emotions are not. If you want to make art for stress relief, you should try not to make art a source of stress. Because you think it's not perfect and doesn't hold up to your standards. Just let go of the perfectionism and focus on enjoying the process rather than the outcome. These are my top tips on making art for self-care. I hope that they are helpful to you. If you have more tips on how to use art for self-care and distressing, share them in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram to see more of my artworks. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye guys!